A posy day. Everyday misfortunes. It seems like a normal day. Any normal, ordinary, happy-go-lucky day in Maritime Bay. That was what a certain yellow earth pony was trying to tell herself the moment she rose from her bed. Like the very flowers that were opening their petals to embrace the sunshine that was flowing into Posy Bloom's window. She lay there, wiping the sleep from her eyes and lying still as she wondered what her day will bring. Nothing. Absolutely nothing was going to make this day bad. This was going to be her day to shine. No pony will hear her open remarks, Hitch won't get a box load of complaints from her specifically, and she will come home with a clean mane and shiny coat. The very moment her eyes opened, they instantly got blinded by the sunlight. She instantly closed them and slowly opened them again. Lifting her head from the bed, she noticed that her bedroom windows were devoid of any curtains. Squinting her eyes some more, she noticed that there was also some sort of stain on the walls. Lots and lots of stains, splattered on the wall like something that would be classed as a piece of artwork at Maritime Bay's museum. It was then that she noticed that her bed covers weren't the same as the ones she slept under the night before. Something was definitely off. How did my window not have any... oh. The previous morning. It was a beautiful day in Maritime Bay. The seagulls were chirping and ponies were rising to start the morning. Just out of town, in a house with flowers blooming in the front garden, a certain pony was doing the exact same thing. Posy Bloom woke up with a yawn and a good stretch. Yes, she was feeling good today. Nothing will stop her from having a normal day in the seaside town that was Maritime Bay. Looking towards her window, she saw the sun was trying to make itself known. The streaks of sunlight were shining through the curtains, as if the celestial body was beckoning her out. It was then that a thought occurred to Posy Bloom. Every pony loves opening the curtains and swinging the window open. Every pony loves to breathe in the fresh, crisp morning sea air. So what's stopping her from doing the same? Getting out of bed and placing the covers back to how she liked them, she trotted over to the window and flung the curtains open. With a hoof to the window, she opened it, breathed in, and sighed in contentment as the morning air worked its magic of washing away the last traces of sleep from her. Closing her eyes, she smiled as she felt the sun's warmth on her coat. Oh yes, this is going to be a good morning. Look out! Snapping her eyes open, her jaw dropped to the windowsill as she saw a certain light purple pegasus come flying towards her, a cartload of fruits behind her. No, 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 no! Break, break, break! Posy waved her hooves in the air frantically as she tried to redirect the pegasus away from her bedroom window. However, the delivery pegasus didn't have the power to steer away from her. With no other option, all Posy could do was duck and cover her head with her forelegs as the pegasus came crashing in, an array of fruits flying in all directions, and stained her favorite curtains and walls. Back in the present, Posy shuddered at the mess that pegasus left behind. That was her first complaint to Hitch's office that day. How delivery pegasi always fly too low! Fifi was lucky that nothing was broken, apart from the fruit that was supposed to be delivered to Sunny's smoothie stall. It wouldn't hurt to fly higher! Zip managed to help Pegasi fly with a brief flying school, but they're going to need much longer training. Fifi's just doing her job, but for Maritime Bay's sake, can she and all Pegasi just be more careful? Fifi, Wendy, and all those random guards that turn up out of nowhere should follow Hitch's new rules regarding flight safety! He got the rules out after my complaint the day some pegasus plowed through my flower bed. It was then she realized that she was venting like she normally did when something puts her off her perfect day. No, no, bad posy. That was yesterday. This is today. Let's focus on the here and now and forget that. Posy told herself. Nothing will get in your way of a good day. She got herself to the kitchen and opened the cupboard. Then she popped open the coffee tin to find not a single grain of coffee or packet of bread in her cupboard. All she had was a near-empty bag of cereal and a quarter bottle of milk in the fridge. Posy rubbed her head as the memories flooded back to her again. In the past... Shopping. Every pony likes to shop. Shopping is one of Posy's favorite things to do. There's nothing like going into town, smiling and waving to every pony you meet, and getting what you need at the same time. 
She just got her favorite shampoos from Main Melody and booked her next hoof treatment, and right now, she was carrying a shopping bag full of supplies to last her till next week. Right now, she was happily singing a tune in her head down Main Street when her ears twitched at an unfamiliar sound. She stopped in the middle of the street, her ears turning at different angles to understand where the noise was coming from and what exactly it was. There was definitely a horn being honked and the unmistakable sound of tires on the concrete. It seemed that it was getting closer and closer to her, and coming directly behind her. Turning her full body quickly, her pupils shrunk to pinpricks at what was speeding towards her. Izzy Moonbo, the resident unicorn of the Crystal Bright House, was coming towards her on her new motorcycle. She recently opened up a business, helping repair and fix things for every pony in Maritime Bay with her Izzy Does It motorcycle. Posey would often find the strange unicorn with her imaginary unicorn friend, Senior Butterscotch, who was made up of an assortment of trash from Izzy's dumpster diving. However, this wasn't going to fix Posey's day. Out of the way, Posey! Izzy's got some stuff that needs fixing! The unicorn shouted. Oh, for all and Equestria's sake! Posey shook her head rapidly. She flung her bag of groceries in the air and dived out of the way, right into a trash can, of all things. Izzy hit the brakes hard with a hoof and came to a screeching halt. Reversing to where poor Posey was, Izzy looked at the sight with a sorry look and a sheepish smile. Oh, uh, um, sorry there, Posey. You okay under there? A long, hard groan escaped from under the pile of trash. It was then that Izzy spotted a discarded ruler and a couple of buttons among the pile of rubbish. Posey, you are a genius! I needed a new ruler and buttons. Thanks, you're the best. Izzy gave a toot of her horn and zoomed off. You're most welcome. Posey rose from the trash and saw Izzy turn a corner, leaving a trail of dust behind her. She saw her shopping, a sorrowful mess on the roadside. Back in the present. Uh, that was my second complaint that day. Posey sighed as the memories flooded back to her. To have a designated pedestrian road and another for new vehicles? I mean, we have the town's tram car, but something for the new chariot taxis and Izzy's crazy motorbike would also really help. After a plain bowl of cereal, she decided to wash away her worries with a nice hot morning shower. The feeling of warm water droplets trickling down a pony's coat, no matter what race, helps every pony in releasing the stress and traumas of any day. Walking up the stairs, she made a beeline to the bathroom took out some towels, and turned the faucet of the shower on. She hopped in, only to hop back out when the water was ice cold. She stood there, in the middle of the bathroom, a pool of water forming underneath her. Shivering like a leaf on a bare twig, she heard her phone vibrate with a notification. Wiping off the cold water with her towel, she trotted to her bedroom and switched to the news bulletin. Her phone displayed the normal things going on around town, Pip was releasing a new beauty product, and the timetable of the tram car was published. However, there was one particular headline that caught Posey's attention. Her eyes narrowed as she double-tapped the message to enlarge it. Due to Earth Pony magic, vines have caused a water blockage to the main water pipe? Repairs are underway to resolve the issue. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Sheriff Hitch Trailblazer. She lifted her head from the latest news to enter her phone. And there's a new complaint for the day. Posey said dryly. Earth Pony magic should be practiced in Sunny Star Scout's new garden only. Posey stared back down at the screen. A twitch had developed in one of her eyes. Her hoof met her face. Placing said hoof to her chest, Posey breathed in, breathed out, and headed downstairs to face the front door. She stared at the door and the world outside it. What today will bring, she will never know unless she stepped outside and took that first step. What chaos will ensue, what troubles she will find herself in will be beyond her control. Whatever happens, she's just a regular earth pony in Maritime Bay. A normal pony, in a town that miraculously restored magic, reunited all three pony tribes, and has to contend with Pegasi flying haphazardly in the air in the odd case of wild earth pony magic. She was just part of things that were beyond her control. Today will be beyond her control as well. So, what's stopping her from just embracing the chaos of this new age? It's just like what Hitch says when doing his morning rounds. Just an ordinary day in Maritime Bay. Posey sighed. With that, 
She opened the front door, took a deep breath, and placed her hoof outside. A random pineapple flew from the sky and landed in front of her with a splat. It stained her hooves, making them a darker yellow than when she was inside her house. Sorry! Came a voice from above. Posey looked up to see Fifi again. This time she was flying much higher than that fatal day. Posey just looked forward at the path straight ahead, a content smile on her face. Yep, this is the Maritime Bay for you. With a spring in her hoof steps, she trotted her way down the path towards the town. What the day will bring, no pony knows. However, one thing's for certain. Expect the unexpected in the little town down by the seaside where magic was restored and all ponies were reunited. Welcome to Maritime Bay. Posey smiled as she whistled a tune and trotted down the path to that very town she called home. Man, Posey deserves a lot more credit than she's given. Honestly, she's a trooper. Oh man, this whole thing? Freaking flawless. Anywho, let's get on to our positive donators. Top donators, Jesse Smith, Zar630, Badass Waffle, Only One Thing, Saru Orion, and Iron Sky. Magipak109, Jock TF, Sarkside Raiden, Narles, Black Moon, Arpastel, Skies, Austin Rollins, Stu Hex, Star Brother, Mortar, Dharmic Online, Riverman, Sad9052, Will, Chris, Twinkie, Rise, Hall, Shadow, Malua, GD8, Chance Across, The Pixmook369, Bob KJJ of Murder Princess, and many more awesome people. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and live life to the fullest.